Hello Zebraherd and welcome back to Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And before we get started, I just want to explain that I know everyone's, or a lot of people have been requesting me to do more episodes in the series. I've had a lot of technical difficulties with it, with my 2DS capture card, but I think I finally found something that works for me and that can get episodes out to you guys. I have been leveling up my Pokemon a lot. You might have seen the grinding episode I posted, but beyond that even, I've been continuing to level up the Pokemon. As you can see here, I have um, Finn, Gonna pop up on the top screen in just a moment. Uh, or maybe I'll just include the bottom screen. <laughs> but either way, um, Finn's level 24 now, which is great. Beyond that, uh, we got Pokepack who's level 28. He's actually ready to evolve. I freaked out and canceled the evolve because I want to, of course, do it on camera. Tim's level 27, Charco's level 30, Beardy Bill's level 26, and Pikachu's level 30. Hopefully, that's enough to take on this totem Pokemon. I have been training a lot. These Pokemon up a whole big bunch for this. Um, but yeah, the first thing we'll do then is we will go to uh, the bag. I feel like I want to do a, a resist if I can or whatever they're called to try to make sure that I don't have to deal with running into Pokemon on our way to the totem again because that just wouldn't be fun, especially since I'm trying to keep everybody as high as possible. So if I could find whatever it's called to keep them away from me. Hmm. I don't see it in here. Maybe we don't have any. I mean, TMs, berries, key items, free space, it would be, not in the medicine, it would be an item, so maybe I just missed it. Repel, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, use this item, use Repel, and hopefully that'll last us long enough to get all the way to the top of the mountain. I mean, it's not that long of a walk, maybe I should have started a little bit closer, because I think it's like based on every footstep you take, but hey, I have, I'm sure I have a couple of them, right? It, it'll be eventually helpful. Um, but it isn't too hard to explore this area. We've already explored it. We did a couple extra battles we didn't get in episode 21 in the grinding episode, so I, it's a part of the playlist. You can go and check it out. But uh, for now, our main goal will just be tackling this final totem guy, which I guess it wasn't too hard to get here. I just wanted to make sure we didn't get any hiccups at all. The repellents were, effects were off. No, I don't want any more. That's fine. Okay, I'm, I'm happy we're playing Pokemon again. I've missed this game, I just literally could not play it. Okay, dude, with your fiery hair. Well, Zebra, looks like you have found my trial. The totem Pokemon Marowak is a fire and ghost type Pokemon. Oh, and ghost type. There's many weaknesses, water, rock, ground, dark, and even ghost type. So even uh, some of our Charco can help here. So we have some backup. First, we have water from Finn. We have rock and ground from Tim, and then we also have Ghost from Charco. So, I'm doing decent. The Trial of Kaiway, you will find it that it is a bit different from the other trials you have faced at this point, but of course you will attempt it, right? Uh, let me actually save really quickly before we do that. Um, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Uh, let me just spam the B button. Not right now, and then spam the X button, and then save the game. Yep, okay, we're good. All right, so now all I gotta do is I have to talk to you again an additional time. But yeah, I do appreciate everybody who's let me know they wanna see more of this series. It wasn't like I was uh, trying to ignore it or anything. It's just a matter of I literally could not make videos on it. Onward to the final dance. So we've done this before, but we totally failed and that was like a month ago and I'm only gonna be worse. Oh, I forgot this guy twerks. Watch carefully and memorize this dance. I hope I memorized it. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah, the the big guy on the right. That's the problem. What was different about this previous dance? The big Pokemon. He wasn't there, but, but, but how? That was truly spectacular to add to the spectacle. Come toward him. That's right. Don't we have to like battle them multiple times? Oh, this stinks. I mean, I'll do what I can about it, but this was not fun. Okay. Let's see if I, I got Finn all leveled up. 24, okay, not quite leveled up, but he's our least leveled character right now, so. We will use our Z-Power Hydro Vortex right away. Uh, okay, cool. Also, we did like go into the options and like disable the animation so they don't take as long, which I sort of appreciate because it takes forever for some, not to not do much for it being super effective. Uh, Team Totemaru, I couldn't fully protect something. Oh my. Okay, so uh, let's do that. And I'll try to take on you. I am so bad at this game. We might still lose like a bunch here today, but I still wanted to of course try to play a bit more and see if how far, like with how much I've trained. I've trained up the Pokemon a fair amount. Oh, with Torment, interesting. 
Maybe I should rain dance, but our character's really low on health. I feel like I already need to heal. But uh, maybe I'll try just sort of seeing how far we go. No, that's not gonna be it. Oh, he's just too weak. Okay, we definitely need to uh, continue with a different Pokemon. Let's try Tim and see how he does. I mean, more than anything, I definitely need to try to check out everything and see how everybody survives. Okay, so Tim, you are going to, I guess use Rock Tomb? Rock Tomb's a ground type, right? Well, was that a ground type? No, it's a rock type. I don't have any ground type for him. But he does have Dark, which might be good against, ooh, we have a couple options then. I definitely need to get rid of his friend before we do anything. So Rock Tomb on you. Rock Tomb is very effective. Or super, but you know what I mean. 582 experience, I wish uh, Finn could have gotten that. Oh man, this is not good. Why is he hitting so hard for level 22? I might just move over to Charco then. Try to get a couple hits in. Like I don't know, I don't remember if we have to battle him multiple times or if this is the only time. I'll see how long we can survive with this with the super effective lick. He's like one of our highest level at level 30. Oh my, ooh, not bad, not bad. Use Brick Break, and that hurts a lot too. Not enough to entirely take his out, so maybe I can survive for a little bit longer and then I'll try to use some like revives or something. Oh, he's, oh nice, he was paralyzed there, so that helps out a ton. Marowak curse, Marowak's cursed body. I don't know, so Charco's like is disabled, which is very bad. At this point, I think he should just become a punching bag so that we can revive other Pokemon. So we have 13 revives, so we have a lot of room to make some silly mistakes here. And the paralysis that he has is definitely gonna come in handy. But it failed. Wait, oh no, that was him. I think, was it him? I didn't read all that. Okay, now we were able to revive uh, Tim. So let's go back to our bag. And we're gonna go ahead and revive, you know who? You. Okay, so, been recovered from Phoenix. Very good. So you can use Brick Break, that almost takes us out. Okay, uh, I'll go ahead and heal one more time. Full restore on, uh, no, we only have one full restore, so don't do that. Okay, I'm just sort of looking at all the different heals we have. We do have potions somewhere. It's a super potion on Charco. Okay, there we go. Okay, so Charco's HP was restored, that's good. And it's back down. <laughs> okay, so I restored Tim's HP. I can't quite use I don't think I can use Lick still. I, th I think I gotta use another move. But his paralysis has really been bothering him. Oh wait, no, he protected himself. He protected himself, okay. Let me try that again then, what happens? Uh, on Marowak, use Lick. Oh no, I can keep attacking him. So I got other people respawned and restored and stuff, so hopefully, if I need to here, I can switch to them. But for right now, let me just go ahead and hit you with everything I got. There we go, awesome. So we got him, was that it? Was that the whole battle or was there more? I can't remember. Oh my gosh, it's been a while. But everybody got level ups there. Beardy Bill, level 27. My boy, you defeated Toad Marrow. No, that was it. Okay, Toad Marowak is defeated. I'm happy. That's all, okay. I've been sitting here dreading this for so long. Whoa, this is spectacular. With your keen observations, you were able to see even fine differences in our dances. And you defeated the totem Pokemon with such ease. I love his hair. The totem Pokemon protected this Firium Z. Now it's yours. That will definitely be helpful for Charcon. I'll take it, dude. Thank you. Will we get a fancy animation? I like it. Hooray! We got the Firium Z. They really make me like making those really hard to pronounce. It's like Watinarium Z and Fireium Z. Like why? Why can't it just be like called Fire Z? That'd be way better. <laughs> I'm all, I, I'm like one of the best people ever for putting the word or the letter Z next to things. I mean I'm zebra, but come on. This is how you use the fire type Z power. 
He's all about dancing, so he should be pretty good at this one. Ooh. Ooh. I like how he had a little end with a like, stay back, I mean business. Thank you, my dear Marowak. So we beat the Marowak, which is good. For when you meet a Pokemon that you would like to make your companion, take these. You obtain 10 Quick Balls, cool, I'll take them. You, you open the, okay, yep. What's more, you may now use a ride Pokemon Charizard. Charizard will lend you his strength and you will be able to go anywhere you have been in an instant. Well, that's powerful. Charizard was registered to your ride pager. That's a crazy one. The Fire MZ, you should, sh you should show it to the trial guide outside the captain's barricade at the bottom of the mountain. It is time for us to return to our dance. The feeling of the Alolan people will end our Pokemon and the true nature of Z-Power. The answers lie in our dance, and so we must dance on. Okay, so let's head out of here. You watch my uh, Nintendo Direct reaction video, that's cool. So uh, yeah, we should be heading out of here, and I, I, don't, I wanna see this Charizard stuff though. Charizard guide, or I don't know if I said guide. The, the bottom screen is very pixelated. Oh wow, so I can sort of like travel to like specific areas, I guess. So what if I just teleport like here? Oh, this is so cool. Pick me up Charizard, why can't I just use you in battle? That'd be so nice. I wouldn't have to worry about anything ever again. I'm here now, am I at the same exact spot I already was? That'd be so funny if I do this like awesome animation, like Charizard, bring me right here. I'm, I'm fine how I am. I just wanted to see you again. How you doing, Charizard? You, you've passed Kaiway's trial. Well done, okay. So that means you can ride, you can now ride on Charizard. In that case, why don't I tell, tell you about a great way to play with Pokemon in your boxes? You ready for this? Press X to open the X menu and then tap on Pokepelago to take off, okay? I'll be waiting for you on your Poke Pokemon to visit. Okay. I don't know if I exactly care about that. I mean, last time we did something like that, we spent a half an hour in the Poke or the Festival Plaza, and that was boring. Uh, but I guess I'll check it. The Poke Pelago. All right, we're off. Come on, Charizard. Let's let's go and run away. Cool. Oh, that's Fire MZ. Congratulations on the clearing Ka Kaiwee's trial. In that case, okay, we're going through the tunnel. Here you go, you're free to pass. Captain Malo's trial is up ahead. Go along Route 8 and you'll find it. Lush jungle. Okay, cool. Uh, I, I don't know what Rotom is saying, but I honestly couldn't care less. Uh, dividing Peak Tunnel. Oh gosh, it's these guys again. <laughs> Interesting, so this is what you call a tunnel. I would like to investigate it further if we only had the time to do so. Greeting Zebra, it seems your island challenge is going well. It appears that my guess was correct. Battling the totem Pokemon, which are wrapped in aura, is having an effect on you as well. And those Zemus also envelop your ally Pokemon in aura, do they not? Are you able to fully control aura then? Sure I can. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I suppose it does not matter to us either way, but once long, long ago, our world was a wa also a wash in wondrous light, like the light of those Zemus that you can use. Those, it's about time for our meeting. Yes. I like how we're friends with these guys. I thought they were gonna be like enemies. We will be getting to the aid of a scientist who is well educated in the ways of Pokemon. We will need his help to find ways we might use our technology to achieve our goals. Beep boop, goodbye. Okay, well. What is going on now? We get to leave the tunnel. I'm glad. Okay, so we're on Route 8, I guess? Route 8. See the sea and no true joy. I guess, I mean, unless you got sand in, I don't know, like your trousers, that's not never joyful. Um, You know, I don't even want to read it. <laughs> We've done enough reading. What are these guys at the sign? Wow, daddy, I, don't, I want to go. I want to know more about Passimian. Oh, uh, what shall I do? Is there someone with a Passimian? Would you like to show? I don't have a Passimian. <laughs> hey, check out my Pokemon that aren't what you asked for. Okay, what's going on down here? I think this is a trainer. We're going the wrong way for it, though. Ooh, what is going on here? I can fish something. Nothing seems to be biting. Boring. I mean, I could go swimming through that, but I really don't want to. This is just be a very wide open ocean. Oh, can I go in here? 
I can. Is this like a mobile home? Uh, wow, uh, what is going on? Why, hello, trainer. Looks like you've got a Pokedex on you. How would you like to do a little part-time work on behalf of the Aether Foundation? Sure. Wait, the Aether Foundation worked to protect Pokemon through conservation. Right now, we are surveying the Gumi that live in the lush jungle. The Foundation is collecting its own data, of course, but we would like to know what data the Pokedex records about them, or records about them. So your job, if you choose to accept it, would be to register Gumi in your Pokedex and then show us the data. We'll pay you for the work, of course. I hope you'll f help us out. Uh, well, I don't have a Gumi. I don't think I've ever met one. Here. Are they, are they, they're being nice to you, I hope? Oh, this is snapping. You see this Vulpix? It was bullied by Team Skull and now it's scared of people. Oh, that's a shame. Her? Vulpix is twitching its nose as if it was trying to smell you. Oh, well it likes me. Oh, that's the first time it's seen, I've seen it go up to someone on its own like that. Maybe it senses something special about you. Vulpix seems to calm down when you're around too. Do you think you could visit, come visit us from time to time? Maybe we're just the only people on here that don't smell bad. Everybody else smells like beans. Oh, thank you. Did you hear that, Vulpix? This trainer is going to help you out. I'll have to remember to come back or now I'll feel awful. Vulpix is shaking slightly, the poor thing. All right, Vulpix, let's eat something. You haven't eaten a decent meal in a long time. Oh, what's up now? Oh, I know. How about we all share a big malasada together? I think Vulpix trusts you enough that you could get it to try a malasada. Uh, sure, I don't have one. Are you gonna tell me to go get one? No, oh, but you oh, but you don't have a big malasada. You can get them at the, oh, you, she's just trying to make me do something. She's just trying to make me do the work. She's just she's just trying to get a free lunch out of it. Typical. I guess that's it. Oh, there's a totem sticker there. Oh gosh, it's these guys again talking to somebody with a really fancy hairdo. Have we met this guy before? He has a really fancy hairdo. What is going on with that? Oh, goodbye to those guys too. They're just leaving again. I mean, they seem to be overall pretty pleasant. Have we met this guy or not? I can't remember. You there. Totally wasn't drinking water. Oh, excuse me, I am a scientist. My name is Colerus. The theme of my research is bringing out the potential in Pokemon. What brings you out, what brings out the power of Pokemon is? I believe that is the bond they share with their trainers. And thus my attention is drawn to trainers like yourself. Trainers bound to their Pokemon through the power of the Z power ring. Okay, I guess I maybe added an extra power or two there. Now that I think of it, I never asked your name. Zebra, is it? I'll remember your name. To commemorate our encounter, let me give you a TM. Sure, I'll take it. You attend TM43, flame charge. Cool. You open up the TM's pocket and put TM43 away inside. If you are able to utilize the flame charge fully, you'll be able to have a great battle with the totem in the next trial. The trial is in lush jungle. Z power, is it the true potential that I seek? Does it surpass the mega ring? Apparently, there are uninhabited islands uh, for Pokemon called Pokepelago here in Alola. Do not tell me about it, I have heard enough of it. Alola is fascinating. I believe that is why, that I will stay in Alola for some time. Okay, well then. Uh, Seabrad, I hope that you will excuse me. I've had quite the curious request made to me by a couple of most oddly dressed strangers. Okay, cool. You gently peeled off the totem sticker, you've got it. You got to 27 totem stickers, cool. Oh, we can take a photo somewhere here. Uh, wait, there it is. Uh, firing up the Poke Finder. I don't know why I even bother doing this stuff. Oh, hey. Snap. Yeah, not bad. Uh, that's, that's, I don't wanna look at the photo, don't worry. I'm done with it. Okay, so there's that. I could go down here and, and oh, here's that trainer. Probably should have healed up my Pokemon first, but I think I can handle them. I was lo losing constantly, so I'm a trip to find myself. Well, that trip is gonna continue, lady, because we're taking you down. Yeah, I like the thumbs up. You were challenged by Backpacker Kiana. Cool. Kiana sent Eevee. Oh, Eevee, that's adorable. We, that's what we hatched from the egg. Okay, Finn. Uh, I don't know how well Finn will do against Eevee, especially since Finn is a little bit beat up, but that's okay, we'll make it work. We'll 
Uh, do the Hydro Vortex. Ouch. That isn't too bad. What level is Eevee? I didn't even see. But we definitely need to get Pokepack to a new level because if he levels up again, he should evolve. And speaking of evol evolution, I think Tim is supposed to evolu evolve our, our uh, what is it called? Our uh, dog that throws rocks, I forget. But um, yeah, he's supposed to evolve when he levels up, but it's not during the day that I'm leveling him up, so that's a problem. The only problem is I don't have the time to play during the day. I only have the time to play at night, so I'll have to figure that out. Think about why I lost, but I don't dwell on it. Okay, cool. So, let's do that. We got a Pokeball, the big pearl. Uh, I don't know what that is, we'll find out later. Don't care much now. I mean, this doesn't really feel like it's worth putting on items to other Pokemon if everybody's just gonna get a Z power anyways. Like, what, what is even the point then? Speaking of which, I do wanna put a Z power on, you know who, Charco because of the Fire Rim Z. All right then, so where are the Z powers? All right. Fire Rim Z is compatible with Charco. All right, so he's holding a Phytinium Z. I'll switch him, because I don't need him to hold Phytinium. Awesome. And when it comes to the other ones, we have Normalium, which I guess I could put on a Beardy Bill for now. Okay. And then for Phytinium, I don't think I can do much. Okay, so we should be good with that. Anyways, are you a trainer? You are not a trainer. <laughs> you there. In battle, the sky's the limit. Are you ready to send your opponents into the atmosphere? What do you say? Might you be interested to move to Sky Drop? If you are, beat every other trainer on Route 8 and we can talk. Move to Sky Drop. Well, we just moved at the beginning of the game. That's the whole point. Okay, I don't wanna, okay, well too late. Man, they don't even give you anyone to really heal afterwards. The uh, totem metal, attacking from a high place to a low place is as easy as chopping down bamboo. Oh yeah? Well, let us go. And we're gonna show you how easy it is to chop you down like bamboo. Rising Star Mikey, he has two Pokemon, which is a little bit more difficult. Phantump. Whoa, what is this thing? I have never seen this guy before. He is adorable. That is a really cool Pokemon. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch to, well, Charco's really in pain right now. M maybe uh, Pokepet can help us? I have no clue. I gotta say, Pokemon can be really weird sometimes. Oh, it doesn't affect us, so that's a good start. Let me just sure try this pack. Use pack. Ooh, that really hurt him, it's super effective, so I made the right choice. Good. Okay, 240 experience. Good, good, good. Trumbeak. Uh, I think we're gonna switch to Tim. Because it, that sounds like a bird type. And that's the case, rock type will be good. So we'll get our good old rock rough. That's what it is, rock rough. I just totally remembered for a moment. Hey, hey, that's what we have. <laughs> I had to even realize. Okay, well, rock tube it is. But yeah, our Trumbeak, our Pokepack, should be evolving very soon. Oh, that's a lot, level 28. Holy cow, he's, he's tough now, he's a tough pup. And anybody else getting level ups now? I don't think so. Okay, very, very good stuff there. And now we get to continue. Uh, This way, we got a Pokeball. I'm glad we survived that, I was a little worried. Hyper Potion, that'll be helpful because my Pokemon are hurting right now. I mean, I could always charge all the way back to get healed, especially now. Like, let me check out where I can go with Charizard. Like, maybe I was supposed to go back and heal. I mean, yeah, there is a heal spot right here. It shouldn't be too bad to do this and then go all the way back. It's just, it's sort of kind of a pain. I just thought that, you know, maybe they'd be nice to pop a heal station off somewhere, but, you know, Charizard helps as much as it get. I'm not gonna blame it on him. Uh, welcome to the Pokemon Center. Still hard at work today, are you? Yep, of course I am. Always working hard. Okay, so we can grab some of this. That'll be great. Healing everybody up. 
And then hopefully Charizard will bring us back to an okay spot. If not, I can hop onto Tauros and he can help. But I'm not interested in talking to anybody here because we've already talked to them all before. So Charizard. I guess the closest spot I have is here, which isn't the best, but I'll make it work. So it seems like there's other places I just haven't gotten to yet, but that's fine. Uh, so, let us go with Tauros and get to charge him. Whee! At least it's fun. Like, I'd be horrified if I was on top of Tauros and he was charging so quickly that he's breaking like the heat barrier, which is not a real thing. But he's just, he has these red streaks along him as if he is burning. I mean, that's why we wear the helmet, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and battle you. <laughs> we just immediately come to a, to a halt. There's no G-forces there. Trainer detected, I will now commence the attack. Are you a robot? Are you robot lady? Because you don't look like the other people that I give robot voices. We're challenged by Rising Star Nikki. Okay. You got nothing robotic about you. Unless it's just your personality. Oh, look at that thing, that is so cute. I have no idea what it is, but it's adorable. Oh, we're still wearing our outfit. That is both funny and dorky. Okay, well, I have no clue if this will really do much because I think it's just a normal type, but hey, might as well give it my best shot. Okay, uh, ah, that did okay, it wasn't too bad. For being a, uh, a Z-type move, will that finish you off? Not quite. It's also called a Stuffle. It's supposed to be like a stuffed animal for sure, it's super cute. Oh, wow, well, goodbye. Ouch. I guess our typing didn't match up very well. There's more experience Finn is gonna get. Wow, that stinks. Okay, just finish him off with Pokepack. If we get a level of Pokepack right now, that'd be great. Come on. Pokepack, my boy. Fight it off with the pack. Yeah, okay. It's super effective. Okay, what kind of Pokemon is this? I have no clue. But hey, at least we got a lot of experience for that 300. Pikachu got level 31 as well. I think Pikachu's our highest level. An honorable defeat, I lost, but it was invigorating. You don't look very invigorated. You look actually very frustrated. So I actually wanna go up there and, I mean, there were berries. I don't really need the berries, do I? I mean, I could just go backwards. Hey, look at that, cheating hunt. <laughs> okay, so pick up these berries. I obtained an Oran berry. And then, citrus berry. What else have we got here? Person berry. I never use these, but maybe one day I will. And my life will be forever changed as I become one with the berries. Oh, hey, dude. Are you a trainer? Ah! Yes, he is. <laughs> Very easily startled, maybe because I'm riding a bull. Research, research, I shall research a Pokemon. Well, I'm not a Pokemon. Why are you researching me? I mean, I guess I have them. That's a good enough reason, right? Okay, you were challenged by Scientist Tyrone. Scientist Tyrone sent out Am Amora? Whoa, what in the world is this thing? It looks like a little dinosaur with wings on it as eyebrows. Yeah, it's on its head as eyebrows, I don't know. This is weird. Can't make a one-liner about everything though, can I? Oh, right, let's try our new fire move. I mean, I don't have the fancy animation, but the, the animations take like three years anyways, so rather skip out on it. Okay, so we start ourselves in Z with Z power. Inferno Overdrive, well? It was enough to take you out, whatever you were. You looked like maybe like a water or an ice type or something. Okay, Scientist Tyrone is about to send out Om Omanite. I have no idea what Omanite is, but maybe it's something that Pokepet can take down. My boy, what can you do? Yeah, I wonder when we're running the Pokemon like this. Like we're running into some crazy stuff now. Maybe it's just like with each island, the Pokemon just get crazier. Okay, well this guy isn't too off the wall. But I'm glad I checked or changed out of Charco because uh, this is a water type, would have done a lot of damage. It's not very effective. Roll out, ow. It's super effective. What type, is it? I don't know what would be super effective, a ground or a rock, but it definitely is like some kind of water type, which is not good against flying, right? Um, We'll try Pikachu. If it is water type, this'll help. All right, Pikachu, my boy. Get out of here and lightning strike that guy. So you're gonna use roll out again. Pikachu stacks, and I'll make you paralyzed. Fight. Uh, Thunder, Thunderbolt, I think is better. I mean, I could check, but I don't wanna bother. I use Thunderbolt. 
And we got you, super fun. So it is at least part water type. Well, we got rid of him. 259 experience. And I can give my, my, my Pokemon beans. I might as well, I haven't in a little while. I haven't had really the opportunity to. I present the, re the results of my research. This person's Pokemon strong. Oh gosh, we broke his glasses, the poor dude. Not what I wanted. I didn't want you to have to make an expensive trip to the, the eye doctor. Forget what the word is for the uh, places. Let me just quickly clean up my Pokemon and give him beans. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, oh, what about this guy? There's a student near here who says that he wants to make a whole theme park full of nothing but Pokemon restored from fossils. That is restored from fossils. Like they they used to be Pokemon, but now they're, I mean, they used to be fossils, but now they're back to being alive. Is this Jurassic Park? I would guess so. So we want to go this way because they're, oh, hey, there's Hal. How are you doing? I've made that joke many times before. Hey, hey zebras, have you ever heard of the festival pause the thing? I guess it's like, oh gosh, I hate this thing. Ew, I can tell you've been to the Festival Plaza before, and I never am going back. Festival Plaza seems pretty good, huh? Even my old Crams tried it out. It's great to meet so many different folks. Now I'm gonna go have some fun with my team. All right, see you, Hal. Please don't tell me about the Festival Plaza ever again. I'm gonna go and heal, and then we're gonna go wherever we need to come. Okay, so going to the Pokemon Center is still hard to work today, are you? Yeah, you say the same thing every time. I really shouldn't read it out. Okay, good, good, good. I'm starting to really like our team though. I feel like it's starting to iron out a bit better. I feel like I'm gonna say that I'm gonna run into the next like big battle and get really beaten up. Maybe I could talk to some people. Hi, naturally there are lots of grass type Pokemon in Lost Jungle. Do you know what types are strong against grass? Fire, flying, and bug, to name a few. Well, then I should be good with my team. Please trade my Arbok for your Trumpic. No, nah, -uh. you ain't getting my Poke Pack. He's about to evolve. Who do you think would win in a matchup between the Master Royal and Crasher Wake? I don't know, I don't care. <laughs> and what about you? Hello. Do you know about Pokepelago? Yes. Gosh, they really want you to do these things. I just wanna play the game. There's this Pokemon called Comfy that you can find in Lush Jungle that can, well, if you clear Model's trial, you should spend some time trying to research searching Pokemon in the, in the jungle. Okay, I will. Mm-hmm, you can ride Charizard, can't you? Then I'll give you a good tip. Open your X with X menu with X. Then press R or push right to find the Pokepelgo icon. You should give it a tap. No, stop trying to make me go to the Pelago. I don't care, I wanna play the game. Oh my gosh. Um. So honestly, I don't see too much here I want, I don't think. But I have no clue, to be honest. I definitely wanna buy more potions. I have plenty of revives. Oh, you have a sparkling Z crystal. You've cleared Kaiwi's trial. Congratulations, now you can purchase more items, so welcome to the Pokemon. May, may I help you? No thanks, no, no, okay, I'm definitely gonna buy some stuff. I don't know what, though. I mean, whatever I'm low on. I don't need more escape rope, what is this? I have zero of Super Repel. I'll buy a couple. I mean, I have almost $60,000. I think I'm fine with what I have, but uh, got that. Adrenaline orb, use it. Using it makes Pokemon call for a for help a number of times if held by Pokemon and boosts speed when intimidated. We use only once. Not very interested. No, thank you. Goodbye, sir. And I'm never coming back unless I need to heal my Pokemon, which is actually quite possible. Okay, so we should be able to head back. I mean, I guess head down here, see what's going on. I might as well talk to all the NPCs, they might give me something for free. My bro is super strong at Pokemon, you know. I borrowed my bro's Pokemon without asking, actually. But do you wanna have a battle? Sure. <laughs> this can't go wrong. Definitely no way this could go wrong at all, but hey, free experience is free experience. If I could level up some Pokemon here, I would really like to. All right, Caleb, you're gonna make it. Grave mistake trying to steal somebody's Pokemon, because that's quite literally what you have done. Kangaskhan, cool. Oh, it's only one. I mean, I guess you have technically two here. Well, then this should be good. If we go to the fight, and we go to Z-Power and do Water Pulse, this will hopefully hurt him a whole bunch. Well, have to see though. Because I think it's ground type. I don't think it's ground fired, but it should be at least ground type. I'm not really too familiar with Kangaskhan. That actually didn't do much. Uh, huh. Well, I could switch Pokemon, because I think Finn's gonna get beat up if we keep him around. 
So Pokemon, maybe move to Tim? I'm not really sure. Okay, well, we'll do what we can. You're in charge, Tim. Do what you can. He's gonna use Fake Out, but it failed. Fight, and then, yeah, all this is just normally effective. It's not super effective. I don't know what's gonna be super effective against him. It's all water type moves, but it didn't really do too much. I used Facade. Okay, let's try that again. Fight, Rocket, or not Rocket, Rock Tomb. I don't know why I said Rocket. Okay, so, gotcha. Yeah, okay. How much experience is that gonna be? 510. And also 510 for everybody else that was in the battle. Pokepex level 29, oh, he should evolve, right? I would sure hope so. Um, Screech? Let's see what this is. No, I don't think I want Screech. Uh, an ear splitting scream, or Screech, partially lowers the target's defense stat. I think I'm gonna give up on learning that. I don't really need it. I need more flying type moves, not a normal type. Uh, keep all moves, great. Okay, we defeated the pre-score killed. No, my big bro's Pokemon. We see 228 for winning, cool. So now, oh, here we go, my boy's growing up. What, Pokepack is evolving. Oh, here we go. What is it gonna turn into? I have no clue. I'm so excited. This is very grand. Oh, yeah, look at him. He's so cute. Congratulations, your Pokepack evolved into a Toucanon. Toucanon. <laughs> he looks so angry, but in like, the very focused kind of way. Two cannons data will be added to the Pokedex. That's so cute. Yeah, I am so happy. I mean, his beak got a huge upgrade. Yeah, we finished it, we got all three. Cool. Ah, oh, diggity, look at you, you're on fire, partner. You filled in all the Pokemon on a single page. It's like we're playing Bingo over here. Okay, cool, look at him. He is cool, I'm gonna, uh, zoom in if I can. Oh wait, zoom in for the thumbnail. Oh, wait, no, that reset it. I wanted him to do an action. Oh, he is doing an action. <laughs> He's just bobbing his head. Oh wow, there's so many of them. I mean, I only did two, so I, I really can't say so many. I just like him just sitting there looking angry. Okay, I've fiddled around with too long, but uh, now what? Pokemon wants to learn the move Beak Blast. Forget an old move for sure, what is Beak Blast? Is Beak Blast flying? It is, so I think we're gonna get rid of Echoed Voice now, finally. I don't think I need it anymore. Okay. One, two, and ta-da! Pokebike for round to use Echoed Voice, and Pokebike learned Beak Blast, cool! We got it, I'm so happy. So that's gonna settle it. We have defeated a totem Pokemon and we evolved Pokepack. I'm so happy about that. What, why? My bro's Pokemon is super strong. Why did I lose? Hey, you! Oh my. I guess this is a little bro. Oh no, <laughs> hey big bro. You brought my Pokemon out again without asking, didn't you? Oh, don't lie about it. You just shook your head, no, I'm sorry. And it looks like you got soundly defeated too. Yeah, but all of your Pokemon are super strong, big bro. I don't get why. Because you gotta train them up yourself. Even if they have potential, if you don't let them fight properly, Pokemon can not unleash their full power. You can only understand how strong your Pokemon are by giving them love and attention on a daily basis, not by thieving them. If you wanna win with borrowed Pokemon, you need to train yourself too. I always blame my Pokemon when I lose against friends. But that's what, what's been preventing me from becoming really strong. I'm going to spend more time with my Pokemon. And I promise I'll beat you to, you together with them, bro. Or, no wait, I'll beat you together. Okay, I misread that and I thought he meant he was gonna, with his older brother, beat up the Pokemon. I'm like, no, you totally missed a point. I won't let you win easily. Okay, well, they got some bonding. Gonna care less. Sorry, you had to go get tangled up in this weird situation. Take this for your troubles. Oh, at least we got some free stuff. We got a berry. It's all, anybody, and it, this is the only thing people care about in this town. Beans and berries. Okay, they're gonna race each other back home. Yeah, I'll see you around. Hopefully not. 
You guys just go and do your own thing. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today's session with Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon. We beat the Marowak thing and we up Upgraded Pokepack, I guess, evolved him, which is great. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon.